Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, we're back at the loach spot to see if we can't catch any more loaches from this location. Last time we were here, we caught some clown loaches, some coolie loaches, and some other cool exotic aquarium fish. So that's the game plan for today. It's another hot one. Probably will be a shorter video just because it's cooking outside. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. And so we're here at the spot. And this is what we're faced with right now is, guys. So I got this finer net. So I'm kind of confident if we're able to punch these mats down here we probably will pull up some of the smaller fish that are in this canal and i'm also contemplating maybe even trying to throw the cast net around in here it's gonna be a tight squeeze i gotta get really accurate with it but it could be worthwhile so we're gonna run down here with the little boots on there's a lot of sharp glass and metals and stuff so i gotta be kind of careful but i'm seeing some mollies off the top right here i also switched the camera view to the one below the highest uh width one just because it's a lot of your comments and you guys said it was too zoomed out so we're gonna jump down in here and see what we could do uh we got some mosquito fish some killifish i don't think we got anything too crazy in this first net but we're gonna try to just jump over the edge like that these weeds seem like they're not gonna get pulled up with this net which is fine you know we'll make do and i'm just trying to sift out the water through the fine mesh and i'm gonna try to keep these fish in the net like i did last time just because it'd be a little bit easier to sort through but i see some little fish jumping around down here just some baby mosquito fish and i'm contemplating where we should set this trap guys we also might do some reconnaissance on a couple of the other locations in this area to see about what we could do in the future but i see some bigger fish down there maybe some cichlids maybe some mollies we'll see the goal is to pull up some loaches eventually but this way, I don't think we're going to be able to spook the fish enough to where they're actually going to be able to see us before we get the pounce on them. So that's pretty good. They're not really going to be able to see me. My shadow is not reaching the water line or anything. So I think we'll be good. I'll try it underhand right here. Oh, she thick. She really thick. Oh my God. Ew, what is that? Okay, so these are a bunch of roots. That's good. I got to be careful of water bugs. I don't remember if there are any in this water, but you guys know how I feel about them. Look at this black sludge, man. I know I said I wasn't going to be dumping it out, but it's just too thick for me to sort in the net, this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing any fishes in there. It's cool, though. We're just going to keep getting after it. Ugh, gross. Really hope the camera view is a lot better, but next net, if there's anything in here. Let the water sift out so we have a better chance to poke through here not really seeing anything oh <laughs> look in the mud oh see all this super thick mud look at all these little scuds and stuff look at that in the thick mud there's this little itty bitty baby clown loach guy beautiful beautiful find this is what we come to this canal for so we're gonna keep fishing around and keep seeing if we could catch any more of these guys they're absolutely adorable we're gonna get him in a bucket real quick just because it's super hot outside and we can't waste much time i hope you guys are able to see it a little bit better but we're gonna get him in a bucket and now that we've caught one i think i'm pretty much ready to set a fish trap maybe down over there we'll keep netting this area so that we let the trap settle and don't get it disturbed but first beautiful catch of the day guys a beautiful beautiful little baby clown load got a bucket right here yeah i was able to find one of them but i'm still missing the cooler in my other bucket so not ideal but we're gonna get some water in here for this guy this water looks pretty clear so that's nice we'll be able to see him in the bucket a little bit of an amber color to it but we're gonna get him in right there have fun little boy that is so sick that spot right down there looks like a prime spot to throw a fish trap so i'm just gonna hurl this over there fresh trap shout out to pam for picking it up off the wish list Okay, so it went a little left. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I'm gonna just slap it on over that way. Get it where I originally wanted it to be. And then I'll try to get that string a little more accessible. Eh, you know, it's fine. I got boots on, we'll be able to get it. So we're gonna let that sit right there. We're gonna keep working down that way and that way. Ooh, there's a big pot of fish right there. A Little bit farther down from our trap, but that trap should do just fine. Jeez, bro. The amount of mud in here is kind of ridiculous. Well, actually, it makes total sense. That's like all of Florida. But we're going to try to sift out all this water. Anybody in the net other than mosquito fish? Oh, ew. What are you? Oh, lame. Ugh. He just shot mud in my face. So lame tilapia. You could go back. I don't even want you, bro. You're cool. You're fine. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, God, this mud is so unforgiving. <laughs> it's so messy. But Oh, and it stinks. Ooh. No, that's a root. Not sure if there's anything in that net. Hmm. I was thinking about trying to net this muddy section, but I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to rip my net through that. But this, this I definitely can. Watch out, bro. Oh, big fish down. Oh, that's called. That's a guy. Oh, I think that's a big jewel. You got any friends down here? 
<laughs> Got anything down there that I should know about, buddy? Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. So much mud, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it to sort through it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wait, wait, yo, come back. Look, hiding in the mud, guys, is another loach. Oh, this is that other species, guys. Look at that. That is a big coolie loach hiding in the mud. So I'd imagine this like super sandy, muddy substrate is awesome for these guys. I'm going to try to pick them up without losing them because they're super hard to handle. But right here, guys, we got a little coolie loach. Look at that. So we're going to walk them over to the bucket very carefully because they're basically like aquatic worms. Like they're very difficult to handle. I don't want to risk losing them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Go. Boom, drop them in the bucket, get all the mud off them, and look at that guy. So we got two of the loach species that actually live in this canal. We got a coolie loach and then a little clown loach. So super awesome to see. We got some scuds down there going to war as well. But I think you guys are able to see them pretty good right now, hopefully. I might check the footage in a second just to make sure. But we're gonna keep netting around while the trap sits and see if there's anybody else. Ooh, right down there I see a ton of fish. Big enough to hit with the cast net. So I'm gonna run around, grab that real quick. And we're gonna sling it down right there. I think I can hit them. I heard a little thunder and the wind's picking up so hopefully we don't get rained out but i saw them in that back pocket right there yeah they're still all right there so hopefully this is a good throw perfect that was money that was so money let's go let's go let's go oh 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 <laughs> got a ton of fish in that let's see what it do it's a bit heavy but now we got to sort through this i see a ton of tilapia big cichlid what else what else what else oh that one's got like a busted lip but they're all kind of break dancing out of the net i'm not sure if i see anything worth mentioning we just got these big old tilapia this one might have started breeding because of its mouth but oh oh wait wait we got a gourami right here wait stop so in this canal also guys if you remember there are blue gourami Although, I don't know if this one's a blue gourami. This might be a different species. It's got blue on it for sure. I don't know if it's the same ones as we caught last time. But, oh, I just remembered. We got to be careful with that fish trap. Because that one time there was a turtle that got drowned in it. So I'm actually going to make sure I keep an eye on that fish trap. Shack's looking kind of beautiful right now. But we got this beautiful little gourami. I don't know how well you guys can see it. You should play nice with the rest of these fish in here. So hopefully, you know, all goes well and they don't attack each other. But... Oh, look. Oh, there's a big soft shell. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see if I can cast net it. You might be like, Rob, why are you going to cast net this big turtle? And the reason is because I want to make sure he's a far, far away so that he doesn't destroy our fish trap. Soft shell turtles do a lot of damage to him. All right, we're live. Did he break out? Oh, he ducked it. He ducked it. Uh, dude, he's going to destroy. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait, we might have got him. Gotta be very careful. Wait. Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Thank God. Dude, this guy will destroy fish traps. So we gotta make sure we get him far, far away from it. Because otherwise, he's literally gonna destroy it. Now, I might have to walk him all the way down there. Just because I'm not gonna be able to hold this guy. Oh, he's heavy. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn, <laughs> this is a predicament. But I really just want to make sure he doesn't destroy our fish trap. So any turtle I see, I will be moving just for the safety of the animal and the safety of my video. <laughs> We're going to get him down in the water a bit of ways because these guys are kind of feisty. I think this is far enough. He just got airlifted. Don't fall with the turtle, Rob. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, big boy. Yeah. I really like turtles. I love soft shell turtles, actually. They're like some of my favorite. Because I really don't want Buddy. You could go back now. Come on, bud. There you go. Yep, keep going that way. Nope, nope, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay, it looks like we might see him again. Well, I tried, you know. I, I see him over there again. Probably won't catch him again. Oh, no, look, there he is. Good boy. Whew. That almost ruined our fish trap. From what I could see, there's no turtle damage to the fish trap, so we're gonna keep netting around. Hopefully, they stay away from it. There's a storm of brewing over there. Hopefully, it stays over there, man. I'm like a hawk right now, guys. <sighs> Ooh. What is that? I don't even know if I want to know. Oh, big mud pile. I see some little fish in here, so I got to be careful. Oh, this is too big. I got to get out and sort this. Too much mud in the net. Just eyeball it and push it around. Ooh, yeah, that's gross. Oh, dude, this feels sick. This is so awesome. I love poking mud, but I got to be kind of meticulous given that how small the target species are. So I see a little molly right there. We'll get him out. Oh, wait, did I just punch something? I think I just felt something. Wait a second. Oh, 
Wait. Oh, ew. Oh, he's slathered in mud. It's the cichlid. I don't know what kind yet because he's so disgustingly covered in mud. But we're going to rinse him off real quick and get an ID on him. Um, We should probably do that in the water, not the keeper bucket. Because, you know, that would be bad. Pollute the keeper bucket like that. <laughs> Off-broading. <laughs> rinse him off. See what it is. Oh, that's actually a really nice find right here, guys. This is a little baby Yeha cichlid. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This one doesn't have all that much color, so I'm guessing probably female. Although, yeah, probably female. Cooler than a tilapia, so we'll just hold on to him. Hopefully, he plays nice with the rest of our little friends here. That storm is rumbling. Like, I, I think it's actually coming closer. Oh, that's so not cool. We got a little federal drone right here trying to camp our fishing spot. Hey, man. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Respect this pimpin'. <sighs> Next net post vieja. Any little lochi guys in here? Any little garamis? No? A lot of scuds, which is kind of gross, but whatever. Like, better than water bugs. Am I right? Oh, <laughs> all the little cichlids. Damn. They're gonna be too fast for me to catch. I'm gonna start working my way back to the trap simply because I think we're about to get look how fast that cloud is moving It's literally almost over us. I think we're about to get dunked on so I'm gonna try to make a quick couple rounds get quick couple nets And then hopefully we don't get absolutely slaughter ganged by that storm right now I'm surprised we I don't think we pulled a single crawfish out of here, which is really surprising Oh, no, my arch nemesis the water bug you know what, I'm not even putting my hand in this net. There's so many water bugs. Oh, no, you know, you know water bugs are mean mean man but we're gonna get that back in there. Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just fishing over here. How many mosquito fish is that? Oh, hell yeah, look at that. We gonna try, right her. Ugh. I'm really surprised we haven't caught a single jewel. I did see a few, but maybe these ones are just really smart and sneaky. Nobody in there, lame. But we're almost back at the trap. I think once we make it there, we're just gonna pull it. I hear the thunder, the gods are telling me it's about to dump. So I really don't wanna get dunked on. A little sneak attack. Oh, I was in the middle of swallowing, but look, there we have guys, another little baby coolie load. Oh, ew, ew, stop, stop, stop. Why would you do that to me? He just started spazzing, but these are a lot bigger, these ones we're catching today, than the ones we found this first time around. Beautiful, beautiful little coolie loads right here, guys. Anybody else in the net? Looks like just some mosquito fish, but like I said, guys, with the keepers, we're not gonna waste time trying to like inspect them too much because it's so brutally hot outside right now. I literally look oily. So now we got to get this dirty little bugger out of his little mud net. There we go. There you go. Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, we're doing pretty well. We got a clown loach, two coolies, a garami, and that big vieja sickly but I think it's time to check the trap. Yeah, that storm's only getting worse. It's literally building up, picking up, and making its way over here. Which means if it comes, I can't record. So <laughs> we got to we gotta pull the trap right now. Oh, no. Oh no, please don't sink too deep. Please don't sink too deep. Please don't sink too deep. Okay, I gotta grab my net so we can get our trap back. Oh lordy lord lord. What am I getting myself into? Hopefully this goes smooth. Oh, I see some bigger fish in the trap. I don't know what they are yet. Oh, I see a garami in there. Oh wait, no, that's bad. Garami need to breathe. Oh wait. Okay, good thing the storm cut us short because if he's been in there for a while, he might need air. Let me get a hold of this and we're gonna run him over to the keeper bucket before we inspect them and try to make this fast. Oh, yes, we got some fish on us. Run, I hear thunder. That is so not cool. Oh, it's right here. No, oh God, <laughs> right here. Oh, I see some, oh yeah, <laughs> mission accomplished. We got some more loaches in here. Oh, he's so slippery. Okay, there's this clown loach that's not as elusive. They, do, they got barbs on their face, man. Please just cooperate. Baby clown loach, around the same size as the other guy. We got another coolie loach right here. These guys are so hard to catch with the trap simply because they're so thin, they could easily escape if they tried hard enough. But I see another one break dancing right here, guys. That's beautiful. Oh, clown loach, barbs, barbs. Look, you might be able to see the little barbs on their face, but we got him. Oh, that vieja is getting aggressive with them. Hey buddy, listen, I think you're really cool, but I can't have you in our keeper bucket on the way to the friend's house. You're gonna be mean. So you know what? We'll just put you back. We're just gonna throw him back. I don't want him munching those clown loaches during transport to my friend's house. But, oh, this coolie loach is beautiful. He looks so good. We're getting him in there. And I see another one. Oh, last time I think we caught more loaches, like clown loaches than coolie loaches. But this time it seems as though the other way around, I think. Oh. God, the thunder, <laughs> not cool, not cool at all. Oh, I see another two clown loaches and a garami. Here we are, 
beautiful little gourami right here get him in there and then right here hopefully these guys didn't get smushed by the tilapia but we got a little clown load and we got a second one right here beautiful little dude any other fish in this trap oh there was one more coolie loach hiding under the dog pile they kind of remind me of like a milk snake oh no this is not good not good not good stop 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 oh that was almost really bad but beautiful little coolie loach right here get him in the keeper bucket they'll do just fine and it seems as though that is it damn that storm is definitely on its way though yeah <laughs> so we're gonna get these guys on some air bring them to my friend's house and we're gonna dump these guys back in the canal okay we're live i almost forgot to give you guys a little check in the last couple of videos i haven't been doing it but this is all we caught right here we got some coolie loaches in there we got some one two three four five six we got four clown loaches and two garami that we're going to be gifting to a friend everybody looks pretty good so yeah, we're ready to ride out. Thank you guys for watching the video. And sure enough, we were correct in pulling the trap when we did because now it is downpouring and it has not stopped for a few hours. I was staying at my friend's house for a couple days. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll probably end up renting a, like, you know, going through on a, like a B Airbnb for the time being. Just in the meantime, while I'm still trying, like I'm, I've applied to a couple different places, you know, still in the process of trying to find one. But yeah, the Airbnb, I don't know if you guys heard that thunder, but the Airbnb should be a good situation or solution for the temporary long term. Uh, still definitely need to find a spot, but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.